Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with the Tennessee Titans. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Darnold on first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That goes for a gain of 31. The things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. Now the first carry here for Frank Gore. Bringing him down defensively, Jayon Brown. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Darnold. Eluding the pressure right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. By Jayon Brown. A gain of two brings up third and seven. Darnold from the gun. He'll air this one out deep for Perriman. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 11. A carry here for the big tight end. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten at the ten-yard line. Here they come, second and ten now from the ten. Here's Tannehill. He's going deep for Brown. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. 
And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football, got to it, and made sure they didn't give up much run after catch. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Tackle me. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. On second down, it's Johnson. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. And he is going to have a Jets first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They run. It's Gore. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. 44-yard line. Second and nine from the 44. To throw is Darnold. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Brashad Perriman, but now it's third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. The shotgun snap for Darnold. He finds his target, it's Crowder. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there as they were able to connect. Gardner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. A play fake, and it's Darnold. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Kevin Byer, the Middle Tennessee Blue Raider, gets the sack. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Darnold now to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. 
and that looked like vintage old school coverage didn't it man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team they had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other and they just locked people down 54 yard attempt and this won't get there won't be online either it's no good off to the right the titans coming back onto the field for their second drive and the last drive the first drive for them not very good three and out what do they go to here well you don't look down at your play sheet and say this is what the problem is and let's find out who my playmakers are get the ball in their hands and maybe the offense will move a little bit sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number exactly or the, the right play yeah that too <laughs> and they're well past midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40. a quick first down pickup good start after going three and out on their opening drive and that's pretty much meat and potatoes right there wasn't it just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle not too fancy there was it nothing fancy at all challenging that defense and on that go around the offense won the challenge on first down Tannehill he'll get this one complete that's A.J. Brown and he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight as that will lead us to the two-minute warning To throw again on second down, Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Pass caught left side by Humphreys. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. Partner, they weren't quite in the red zone, but things are starting to get condensed on the field. Throwing the corner route there, really nice play because it gives him a little bit of room to complete it. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing again is Tannehill. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. As his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Goskowski the extra point and that makes the score seven nothing Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The New York set to take the field. And now the clock reads precisely one minute to go in the half. You want to run the one-minute offense? This is a good test right here. It certainly is. And definitely not a time to think about kneeling and going into the half. This is a chance to attack a little bit, but not having to get everything in one shot either. 10 yards here, 15 there. Work the sidelines, work the clock. Give yourself a chance for at least a field goal going into the half. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. New York ready to go again offensively. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. 
But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here's Darnold, able to connect with Mims. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing again is Darnold. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. He's got this one complete to Perriman. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Two yards left on second down from the nine. Again, Darnold. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Braxton Berrios in the final seconds of the first half. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. So a late touchdown here just before the half, and that obviously changes the dynamic of this game. Yeah, in a couple of ways, partner, because they've been shut out up until this point. So now at least they go into the locker room and Uncle Mo may be creeping over to their side to talk to him a little bit. And second, they're right back in the football game, an extra point away from tying things up. away and he won't quite make it to the 25 here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively and from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it and I think in this situation that's the proper play but we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it and we will likely not see another play here as they take the knee and head into the intermission all tied. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have? 
dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield. Let's find out what they have dialed up. Second half begins with a run by Henry. Shedding the tackle. And some space here. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The first play of the second half, a big success, over 30 yards. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Tannehill. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. He finds Humphreys. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 32 on the play. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Titans have taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Short pass caught by the tight end, Griffin. Three yards the game there, second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Back to throw, Darnold. Crowder's got it over the middle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. 
They'll try and pick up the first with Gore. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there, and it helps him move the sticks. It's a gain of a yard, and it's first down New York. Seven-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, Johnson, and he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Again, they run. Again, it's Gore. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second and nine, Darnold. Flush to his right. And Darnold, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they are going to bring this one back. A fumble return touchdown for the Titans. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. The point after try for Goskowski. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. Good. Makes the score Titans 21, Jets 7. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. On the return, Corey Ballantyne. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw. He's got Herndon. He's tied in. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Off of play action, Darnold. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. The Jets on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Desmond King there on the coverage. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Now they snap it. They're going for it. Here's Darnold. And 
and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Extra point try for Goskowski. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. is good. Makes the score Titans 28, Jets 7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Ballantyne to return. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Fresh off the pick six, it's Darnold. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? A first down throw, Darnold. And his throw is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time. And it's second down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. On second and 10, Darnold looking for Perriman there. He's got him. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Darnold on first down. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to find his tight end, Chris Herndon, and it's third and short. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Jets on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and two. Darnold to throw again. Screenplay, Johnson. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to make it fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. Fourth down, and for Darnold, it's desperation time. Got a man, it's Mims. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Got no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves. 
but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. On first and 10, Darnold. Going to throw right side here, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. To the air again, Darnold. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. Darnold Not able to go anywhere that time, second down. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Looking to throw again on second down. Darnold. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll try and choose some clock with Henry. He's going to have the first down past the 20 as they'll finally stop him at the 23-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. A shotgun handoff to Henry. Broke a tackle, but not much room there ultimately. Just up past the 25 and no further. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And it's third down. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gawden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.